Harold Salmon and the Dean of Medicine at the Faculty of Medicine in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I wish to address and bring your attention to the intersection of drug use and the HIV epidemic. 13 million people inject drugs globally. Of those, 10% or approximately 1.7 million are living with HIV. The risk of HIV is 23 times higher for people who inject drugs than others. In 2019, we have the tools to stop people who use drugs from being infected with HIV. With comprehensive evidence-based HIV prevention and treatment programs that include substitution treatment, needle syringe program, voluntary uh, HIV testing and counselling. Furthermore, advances in antiretroviral therapy means that people who use drugs who are living with HIV who are on successful antiretroviral treatment will not transmit to their partners. Undetectable equals untransmissible. However, criminalization and stigma and discrimination are preventing this from happening the world over. Only 17 to 40 percent of people who inject drugs and are living with HIV are in the HIV treatment cascade, when the global goal is 90 percent. Injecting drug users suffer from multiple layers of stigma. As a, as a person who uses drugs, as a person living with HIV, as ex-convicts or prisoners. They suffer from internalized stigma, they suffer from stigma from family and the communities and from healthcare workers. And they suffer from institutionalized stigma from governments that prevent them from coming forward for prevention services and treatment services. To prevent and stop new HIV infection, we need to view substance use, as was mentioned by Professor Volkov, as a medical and social issue and look for alternatives to incarceration in dealing with this disorder. Thank you very much.